If you're a desi kid, you would agree when I say that pineapple pastry is the OG pastry. We are going down the memory lane today and making a bakery style eggless pineapple pastry. Let's get started. I am starting with some homemade dahi and into this I'm adding some baking soda. Let's give this a good mix so that it becomes nice and foamy. This looks good. Let's set this aside. Now in a large bowl I am going to combine some super fine sugar along with vegetable oil. Into this I am also adding half a teaspoon of pineapple extract. If you don't have that you could also use vanilla. Let's give all of this a good mix. And into this I am also adding the curd and the baking soda mixture that we had set aside earlier. This looks nice and smooth and it's now time to sift in our dry ingredients. I'm using maida which is all purpose flour and some baking powder. And now using my spatula, I'm going to fold the dry ingredients in gently without overmixing at this stage. This looks nicely combined and now one final ingredient which is some pineapple juice. My batter is ready. I am going to transfer this into my baking tray which I have greased with oil and lined with parchment paper. Using an offset spatula, I am going to spread this into an even layer. This looks good. I am going to put this in my preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius and let it bake for about 20 minutes. While the cakes are baking, I am going to start whipping some cream. The cream that I am using today is a non-dairy cream which is already sweetened so I am not adding any extra sugar into this. But I am going to add half a teaspoon of pineapple extract and beat this until it reaches stiff peaks. Our whipped cream is ready and now coming to the pineapples, I am using canned pineapples today. You could use this syrup to soak your cakes later if you like. But I am going to use the pineapples, chop them roughly into small pieces. My cake is out of the oven, I've let it cool. Now let's run a knife around the edges to release it from the tray. Let's pick this up carefully and place it onto a silicone mat. I am now going to use a sharp knife and trim the edges of my cake which have become too brown and crisp. Now with the help of a ruler, I am dividing my cake into 3 3 inch sections. So I've divided my cake, now let's spread an even layer of whipped cream on top.
And now on two of the three sections, I am going to add some pineapple chunks on top. I am now going to further divide my cake in two halves making sure I have 6 inch on either side. And it's now time to stack the pastry. I'm going to place one section on top of the other and then place the one without the pineapple on top. I am now going to frost the back side of each of these pastries with more whipped cream. And now using a cake scraper, let's make a design on top which is completely optional. And now finally, I am going to cut my pastries into individual 2 inch slices. For the final touch, I am decorating my pastries with some cherries and more pineapple. If you've grown up eating pineapple pastry, trust me, it's just so much more fun to make it at home. So when you try this recipe out, let me know in the comments if this reminded you of your favourite local bakery. And do share pictures on Instagram by tagging me at Chivay17. I'll see you guys next week with another recipe. Until then, happy baking!